Hey guys, now we're going to do type 2 binary nomenclature again. Uh, still on practice sheet number one, problem number four this time. So we're going to change that to number four. And we're going to go ahead and explain how to do this. So again, if you always remember with type 2, we do not know the charge of the metal, but we do know the charge of the nonmetals. Because it is it's still an ionic compound, uh, we have to have our charges, and so the first thing we need to do is find the charge of sulfur, okay? Or if we don't know what sulfur is, let's go back to the periodic table, and we see that S is sulfur, and then Cu is copper. So we have sulfur and copper. So let's go to our uh, handy-dandy sheet right here, and on this sheet right here, we find that sulfur, and sulfur is S, and it's right here. It's a negative 2. Now, copper was over in here, so again, because it's blue, it's a type 2, and when it be, with it being a type 2, we don't know what the charge is, so we have to figure out what the charge is. So, we do know <clears throat> what the charge of sulfur is. That is going to be a negative 2, if you remember from that. Now, how many sulfur <coughs> sulfurs do we have? Well, there's no subscript, so that means that the number of sulfurs that we have is 1, so our total charge for sulfur is a negative 2. Okay, and I'm just going to get rid of that highlight there. Okay, and so that our total positive charge for our um, for our copper has to be a plus two. Now, because these here are equal but opposite, they have to be that way in order to have a stable compound. What we have to do is we have to take the charge of the copper, that plus two, divide it by the two, because we have two of them, and that means our charge for <coughs> each individual copper is going to be plus one. So now what we have to do is take this one and put it in Roman numerals after we write down copper. So we're going to come over here and we're going to start the name and we're going to go copper and in Roman numerals one. And then we're going to put down our sulfur. Now we don't put sulfur down because we have to change the ending to ide. So that is uh, sulfide. So we have copper one sulfide. Now, again, we can do the shortcut on this one, too, because the charge of sulfur was a negative 2. We have two coppers, so that means whatever the uh, subscript for sulfur is, in this case 1, would be our charge for copper, that reverse crisscross. So there we go. That's how we explain uh, problem number 4 of practice sheet number 1. Hopefully it helped you out. Good luck with the rest of them.